Well guys, today has started off very good. Heck yeah, so it looks like pretty solid horn, looks pretty heavy. Alright guys, out here again looking for some elk sheds. I'm in a spot where we used to hit all the time, but there's been more and more people that hit it lately, but this year coming in, there's only one set of tire tracks coming up the trail. So hopefully it hasn't been hit very hard. Those four-wheeler tracks stopped behind me a little ways, so I kept coming. But anyways, there's a lot of country up here. Usually do pretty good, so hopefully we'll be able to turn something up. Well guys, today has started off very good. I've only been hiking for like 10 minutes. I was following a trail and there was some old boot tracks on it so I cut up and I'm only like 40 yards above the trail and I'm glassing back. I just glassed up a pretty nice brown six point. So I brought my scope cam adapter but I forgot the case so I'm just going to hold this up to the spotting scope so you guys can see. Oh, where'd it go? I moved it. Oh, it's right there. Right there. Heck yeah, so it looks like a pretty solid horn. looks pretty heavy, so... That's down below. It's like straight above where I parked the four-wheeler. And I'm going this other way, so I'm gonna... Keep doing what I'm doing, and then I'll get that on the way back. Hopefully the other side's right there. I'm going to sit here and glass for a while. Maybe everything's low. So. <laughs> uh, allergies are killing me already, but hopefully I can glass up the other side. If not, maybe when I get over there to go pick that up, it'll be somewhere right there. So it's about time. It's just a good feeling when you get that first one glassed up and it's you barely start to walk in, so... Hopefully it turns into a really good day. Alright guys, well, I've been going for like two hours, but I decided to come and pick up this shed and see if I can match it up. My freaking allergies are killing me, so I'm headed back to the bike, but I'm hoping I can turn up this other side. I've been zigzagging above it on my way down and I just came right here. In that bush right there, and it's burr right there. So, looks like a pretty nice shed. We'll walk down to it, and then hopefully we can match it up zigzagging on the way down to the bike. Looks like a pretty nice shed, though. Gets the blood pumping. Looks pretty freaking big. Huh. It's not too bad. Good fronts. Cool little spot on the burr right there. But, come down here. That's what I seen. It's right there. So I'm gonna I might just leave that there for a minute and do some do some lines through here before I pick it up. So maybe I'll get lucky and it'll just be right in these trees right here. Alright guys. Did a few loops, a couple to the sides, each side and above it again, and then I'll pick it up and get it loaded on the pack and head back, head down and see if we can get lucky and find it on the way down. 
Well, I'll set this up and get the pickup. All right, guys, come here, Gunner. Here's the pickup. It's a pretty nice antler, looks like. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. Really good mass all over. Cool beam. Good front, second. Just a solid bull. It's not bad at all. We'll take it. Hopefully we can pick up the other side on the way down. If not, we'll probably have to come back up in here and see if we can match them up. Heck yeah, I'm pumped. It's the biggest antler of the year for me and it's only the third elk shed. So I didn't get to go as far as I wanted to cause my allergies are kicking my butt right now. So I decided to turn around and come pick this up and head back down just cause I've been sneezing so much. Ugh, my throat's been hurting. So we need a close up of the base. Nice pretty white burr. So. Anyways, yeah, so hopefully we can go right down here and find its other side. So, don't have much farther till the bike actually. So, if not, we'll be back up here again. To hopefully match it up. All right guys, gonna turn up the other side, but just got back to the bike, but we're gonna head out and then we'll be back in here sometime soon. It's Friday today. We're gonna go somewhere Sunday, me and Tristan. Might come back up here, might go hit a different spot, but we'll be back up in here sometime to see if we can match that up. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Finally finding a couple, so it's always a good feeling. So thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. All right, here we go again. Um, Bubba's been out picking up some sheds the last couple videos, so we're gonna go out here again. We're gonna go up in this spot where um, we glassed up a couple sheds on the deer hunt, and Bubba's seen a couple shed bulls up in here as well, so hopefully nobody's been up in here too hard. We were gonna drive up, down the, up this bottom a little bit farther, but the road's kinda washed out from all the runoff that's coming down so um, hopefully that's kept everybody else out of here too we'll just have to hike up there a little bit farther so hopefully that's working for us but um, yeah so there should be at least two sheds up in here hopefully a few browns as well so yeah. hopefully yeah <laughs> it's been pretty good lately so as long as we find those two yeah. we at least find something so yeah so let's go hit it
only gone about 500 yards. Thought I had my first one. I just got stick shedded bad. See if you guys can see what you think. You're walking through the cedar trees and you see this. See that right there? <laughs> just a log with some branches, but from my ankle, they're like all lined up perfect, just like an elk shed would be. Dang, I got me super pumped though. <laughs> Anyways, we'll keep hiking. We still gotta get up. We got we got a ways to go before we really get back in here where we wanted to, but so far we're still in pretty good sign. Right off the bat, there was still lots of really good sign right there, so hopefully we'll be getting into them. <laughs> That's a big old dog track. Almost looks like a freaking wolf track. Maybe we got wolves up here. But anyways, here's a little update. We've been going for a little while. But uh we have some people in front of us. Two guys hiking, so. Oh, we're just trying to get to where he glassed up those two and see if they haven't been picked up yet, because there's older boot tracks in here too, so. Hopefully. Hopefully they're still there. Well guys, we got up to the first spot where the first elk shed that was glassed up back during the deer hunt. We just got here to where it was at. Was at. Uh, should be laying right there. It's not there anymore. So that's great. Who knows when that got picked up. But uh, yeah, the other one should be just around this little ridge a little ways. We gotta try and find our way through this snow and the cliffs and stuff, so we're gonna get that, but hopefully that one's still there. We'll walk over there and check. And if not, we'll just head back down. There's boot tracks all over this thing. So it's been hit really hard. And so yeah, hopefully that one's there. That might be our only one for the day, but we'll give it a shot. Might what? Might be a bad idea. <laughs> oh no. Maybe if we get up by the cliffs right there it will Harden up a little bit. <laughs> Four legged. There you go, bear crawl it. <laughs> well, guys, we can't find this other one either. Um, we're right here in the area, but from the video I took of it, it's just really hard to tell. And everything over here looks different. So, uh, but I think if we were, if it was here, I think we would have found it by now. Um, but yeah, there's good elk sign, but there's also boot tracks all over the place. Bubba just said he's seen some boot tracks right over here, so good chances that it could have been picked up already too, so. Uh, that's pretty crappy. I was really hoping we could pick those two up, but who knows, there's some thick stuff right down here below me. Bubba's gonna hit this little ridge on his way down too, and then who knows, I might still get lucky. They can't find all of them, that's why there's still whites to be picked up every single year, right? So, who knows, we'll make our way through this thick stuff, maybe find another one, but after that we'll be heading back down, back towards the bikes.
Well guys, that's it for this hike. Oh, that was quite rough. That was steep, side hill and the whole way and all the rocks and everything. My ankles are killing me. But uh, at least we're able to hike, right? <laughs> Something positive to look at, but. And I always say that they can't find all of them, but they can pretty much find all of them <laughs> where we were at today. That poor hill has been raped and pillaged pretty good before we got in there. <laughs> and they seem to leave nothing behind, not even any bones, no nothing. So the two that we that were in there or we don't think are in the one's definitely gone, the other one still couldn't find it, it's still unconfirmed. We'll have to see when we can get up higher in elevation and we can glass across and uh, confirm that that one's actually gone. But until then, we need the snow to melt. And we still got some other spots we need to go hit. Bubba needs to go find the other side to that big one he found two days ago. So we need to go up in there and go look around. Maybe there hasn't been very many people up in there if that one was laying out in the wide open. So hopefully... But uh, yeah, we'll see if this is, we'll probably just throw this in with another video. So, alright, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we find some more on the next one. So anyways, thanks for watching.